guys i'm here again and i hope you are doing well in today's video i am here to obey the rules of the game i mean i'm here to do what is right i mean i am here to present to you unity hall this is a unity hall popularly known as conti it is the largest hall on campus which was commissioned in 1968 Members of the hall are called Continentals and the hall has a TV room, study room, a junior common room and the market. Yeah, and I do hope that you like this video. Today's video, our focus is Unity Hall of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. This is fair because I have talked about the great Katangi, so I must not rest. Why should I rest when I have Unity Hall to take a look at? A lot of the comments I got cracked me up. <laughs> the comments were like make sure you take a look at unity hall <laughs> that sounds like order and that is exactly what it is so i don't want to joke because on here we play the game by the rules by being fair to everyone and being honest with everyone so but there's something i found while i was doing research for this video i saw these clips here let's take a look at that first <laughs> I mean, like, did you see the guy on the floor? I had to come back and be like, okay, I am a Christian and this can happen. As a Christian, this can happen. And you know, this is the power of the mind. When you give your heart completely to something, to something, to a belief, this is what you get. The power of the mind will take over. So this is a man on the floor worshiping his brotherhood. This reminds me of this brotherhood thing, this togetherness, this unity this community sense what what came to mind is how powerful what you believe in your heart can be yeah it can reflect on the outside 
So looking at the guy on the floor, I was like, oh, wow, this is a man who can lay his soul for his brotherhood, for his country, for his hall, for his people. And I love the culture of the university horse because now I get it. Now I see how in Ghana people tolerate each other. They may have their issues, they'll sort it out. You know, they tolerate each other. The down looking is not much. People tolerate each other. And I think we should give credit not just to the families, but to the education system because of how it is built to bring everyone together. <laughs> The supremism of continentalism in intellectualism is actually truism. Conti boys, you know the joke. In terms of academics, Conti, as we all know, is a hall of power. We are full of power. And our unity is our strength. Um, for more than 40 years now, we have been united no matter the storm. We are the continental because we are best at everything. Everything in terms of academic sports, in everything. And we will show it at this competition. Whether university or hall in any university has the power to take from us this year's, next year's first ever university in the hall debate. Why are we going to win intellectuals? Well, there's no doubt about it. The biggest hall in West Africa, with the only surviving twin towers. First of all, as our name suggests, Unity Hall, and so we're united. Um, debating is all about cohesion. And when it comes to uh, cohesion of ideas, it is Unity Hall. We are like a barrier, a threshold, and other halls will have to beat us in order to win this competition. And so far, I don't think there is any hall that would be able to beat us. So, yeah, we are taking it. Next year, I know Unity Hall are going to be the maiden winners of this competition. Conti intellectuals. Going back a little bit to take a look at the senior high schools, especially the boarding houses and how strong they live together as a team, as a community, as a family. Coming out from there to going straight into unis and still living together with other hall members. And that makes it a lot easy for them to form a community and just blend easily, come out, tolerate and love one another, irrespective of family backgrounds and cultural differences let's go take a look at more things anything i can find i'll bring let's check and see what we can find next and i'll be back the 50th anniversary of the unity hall popularly known as continental hall of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology was launched at the forecourt of the hall on 19th December. In attendance was Professor R.C. Ebeidu, Professor Owusu Addo, Professor Wilson A. Ejari, the chaplain of the Protestant Chapel, Reverend Dr. Joseph W. Echampon, the alumni and continuing students who affiliate Unity Hall. <laughs> Ebeidu launched the anniversary thereby unveiling the anniversary's cloth and the logo. Promises made by the stakeholders in the various speeches will be upheld. I'm also confident the cadets from their inspirational performance will continue to support the whole throughout the year of our celebration. If I have your confidence, I will therefore do I have your confidence, officer? Yes. On that note, fellow contenders, may you join me declaring this celebration, year long celebration, duly launched. Oh, yes, clap. Oh, As he joins Professor Siafi, please with the cloth of the the cloth and the logo. You can do it uh, and do it well. And even as they prepare 
I also want Continentals to prepare to buy few years after the unveiling. What you see here, the pull up is the logo for the Golden Jubilee. Okay, we inaugurate lunch, the 50th anniversary of um, Continental Hall in the name of God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. is done with dedication and if there's a new country that is about to be born if i if i want to do research about a country and how they are able to live in peace i would definitely recommend ghana i will always recommend that people take a look at the peace in ghana and study it with care you understand where it's coming from most of this peace i strongly believe is from schools <laughs> If you want to study about the peace in Ghana, start from the school. So let's go back to the hall and check out more things about the hall and check out more activities from this amazing hall. And I'll be back. Let's go. And I'm in the person of one star general. S U O H U F Y E W Z Y M S A A B B U. And I want to be here, you see. Mali, call me Mali, I'm going to kiss me. Unity Hall President. Um, today we successfully launched our 50th anniversary celebration and um, it is not a celebration for only the students but for the alumni as well and having having it launched today uh, actually has started the celebration so we are adequately going to prepare within the breaks to make sure come next semester we have massive programs 
and to make sure that we drive home alumina. Now, some of the programs that we have on board has to do with alumina homecoming, power night, uh, which is one of the mega programs we have on board. Power night is something that you have to come around to witness. And then aside that, we're also going to have a fun game where we will also have our fathers among us. We, we play, we socialize, we network to create more opportunities for us as far as the job market is concerned. Then aside that, we're also going to have debates, symposium to interact and to make sure we have more internship uh, opportunity for the students uh, of Unity Hall. Approaching the saluting base, its number one contingent under the command of Brute Sewonu Franklin Pablo Cliff. He is 22 years of age and a level 300 student of BA Geography and Rural Development. Pablo Glyph attended Infantipum School and he was from Po in the Volta region. He has passed to be an officer in the Ghana Armed Forces and he is seriously attached. Ladies and gentlemen, shall we all rise and pay compliment to the colors as they march past? Number two contingent is under the command of Gertrude Efia Mesa, 22 years of age, a level 300 student of BA Industrial Art Textiles Option. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You may resume your seats. She attended Krobo Girls Presbyterian Senior High School. And she hails from Kofolbia. By inference, she is a Kofolbia flower. I like the morale. I like the morale. I love the morale. The morale did. Well done, boys. Well done. I like the instep. Everything is working. I like the instep. Everything is working. It's working perfect. Right. I like that. The supernumerary to number one contingent is in the person of Simon Jesse Dijon, also known as Sir Crash, 21 years of age, a third year student of BA Economics. He attended Infant Primary School and he was from Akem Oda in the Eastern Region. He is single. What I can tell you is that if you're from Ghana and you schooled in Ghana, you can never be lonely. I mean, how, where are you going to get the time to be lonely from? If you are not attending your secondary school, that is your senior high school, anniversary and prize giving day, you are definitely attending a wedding of a colleague of yours from these institutions or you are back to the hall impacting your alma mater so there's no time for boredom i love what i'm seeing so now we know your secrets where your peace is generated from thank you very much for showing me this side of you and i do hope that you enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one bye